Hello everyone, my name is Luis Rodriguez. I'm from GetCon today. We continue with this first season and now we have this principal topic. I try to go further to the another uh, software, another processes that helps for the productivity in the construction. And for now, I want to show you uh, this particular software. What is ArchiCAD and how can I get for free, in this case, if you are an academic or a student. For this question, first, I like to show you what is the principal uh, brand behind ArchiCAD. You can see that all the marketing is almost for from Autodesk. Autodesk is the big company that it has a lot of marketing that they can show the, their software like uh, AutoCAD, Revit, Infraworld, Civil. Etc. Now uh, we have the another company that is is really interesting and it has a lot of power in in the east of Europe and in Asia. Uh, the the company is the Nemestech is the another solution that you can obtain. And um, if we go to the the page the Nemestech.com, we can see that it has different solution from Autodesk. We have like the Autoplan, Bluebeam. Graphiso Vector Words. Uh, this particular uh, software that they has more time than another from Autodesk. Now, like you can see, Nemestech has the brand to Graphisot, like the Graphisot is the brand from Archicad. You can see some a little history. First software of the 3D parametric modeling was the Sketchpad in 1963, but the most important change about this particular software that they can help for the beam processes modeling was like the software that has Nemestech, like Outland, Vectorware, and Archicad. Before name Archicad, it was Rookaps. And if you can see, uh, Rookaps create in 1986 and the Revit create in, in 20s, in 2000. It has like a 14 years of difference between that. And they have a little competition about who creates better solution in particular stuff. Now, if we go to the Archicad, and they recently launched the 23 version, and we can see some features about that. Uh, like his name, Seth Archicad, is more related with the architecture modeling processes. You can create structures and you can model in uh, map elements, but you need some plugin, so you have a little limitants that uh, maybe you in Revit you don't have. But for the architecture modeling is is pretty well. In, in fact, it has more complex solution that Revit uh, already has, and it's work uh, faster for this particular stuff. Now you can see you can create different things and coordination and for this particular version it's improved their interoperability between the name step software related with the life cycle of the project in this case with Rafus and solibri and rhino and at the same time with the grasshopper this is for the 23 version now if we can see the comparison between the particular version you can see that uh, it has a little improvements that maybe Revit is more complex to do that in, in this particular software. It's more, like I said, is related with the architecture and it has some particular tools better than Revit and more for the graphics output, like the documentation and the layers. Archicad use the layers to, to do their, their modeling. And for this particular stuff, you can see that you can create a curved walls, uh, slanted and, and complex from the Archicad 11 and from the Revit is takes more time to do that. And, and now with this particular version, uh, we need to use the, the mass tool to create these particular elements. But for, not, for Archicad, since the 11 version, you can do that. This is a little comparison between Revit and Archicad. Now, if you go to the page in my Archicad, I open in another particular page, my Archicad, myarchicad.com, you can download 
the software for free if you are a professor or a student. You can obtain more than 30 days that you can train in and you can learn about this particular software. If you are a professional, you only have 30 days to do that. And you only need to uh, click in register and you need to put your particular form information. It's like a formulary that you only need to fill the, in this particular information. When you do that, it's, it sends a message in your email and you only need to click to confirm your register. When you have done this particular process, you can sing in with your account and you can download this particular version. You can download for now the Archicad 22. Now is Archicad 23, but I think so it's the same for Revit. It has a little time that it was released and I think so take a month to upload this particular version for purpose. And if you can see, you can download Bing Cloud and Map Modeler is the plugin to you can create a modeling map elements in, in Archicad. Like I said, you can create another stop different from architecture. It's not only architecture for Archicad. You can create a structure and a um, map model. And you can have the Solibri and the Tech Lab inside. You only need to click in, in Download and you only need to put your ID and your series number. And it's really easy. If you want to try it on for more than 30 days, you only need to click in in this particular button that said apply for a, a year license. And now you, you can have Archicad for one year and then you can uh, continue upload if you are a user from Archicad. And for this particular team, uh, you can see that they have some uh, similar stuff like Revit because Revit and Archicad are the principal software for create a BIM models. And you can download information like uh, components in this particular, and you can download plugins that you can create or improve your productivity in your software. You can obtain the interoperability. For this particular element, you have like uh, the another great tool that is Grasshopper, and you have the connection between that. For the 23, you have a direct link, but for the version 80 to 22, you need to download a, a plugin to have the interoperability. Now, I hope that you can enjoy this particular video. I tried to create another stuff different from Revit that you have more solution and you can create your, your own path.